Mr. Watson, come here. I want you. Telephone technology has not changed dramatically since 1876 when Alexander Graham Bell made that famous first call. Voice over Internet Protocol, or VOIP, is revolutionizing the way people communicate. Instead of using traditional circuit switch copper wiring like traditional telephones, VOIP takes the voice, converts it into a digital signal, transmits it over the Internet, and converts it back at receiver's end so you can speak to anyone with a regular telephone number. The voice is being packetized or chopped up into small pieces and, and sent through the network. What that does is allow it to travel as data packets throughout the network. There is no connection to the computer unless you want to have that connection. Phones like what we have here, what we've installed, have the capability to allow a computer to connect through it, much like a hub or a switch would allow. On the other side of things, as the computer works, it can work with or without the phone being in place. So as you're using the phone and using the computer, they're two separate instruments, just as they always have been. It is estimated that 30% of U.S. businesses may move to BOIP within two years, and more than 5 million homes will be using the technology by 2007. It was more than reduced toll costs that convinced officials with the Francis Howell School District to switch to an Internet voice system. We had over 400 phone lines uh, reaching the 18 to 20 buildings that we put up online so far. Those 400 trunk lines all cost a significant amount of money recurring every month. By enabling a centralized solution, we were able to take all our remote locations and transmit that data through our wide area network links. We settled on a solution with Cisco and SBC as our integrator. The Cisco provided phones that we used um, are by far the market share, but they're very high quality, very cost effective. And we found out that just to upgrade our current PBX system was going to cost us roughly um, one to 1.1 million dollars. With the Cisco solution, we were able to install all 1,600 phones, new voicemail, take care of everything at a price tag of around 700,000. It was a significant savings. Voice over internet telephony slashes cost of making changes to a phone system. VOIP networks are cheaper because they use the same network for delivering voice and data rather than maintaining different networks for each. VOIP can save money in less obvious ways with greater flexibility that increases productivity. VOIP offers users the opportunity to customize service and features. Calls can be sent to several phones at once, simultaneously or sequentially. So if you're not at the office, the call will go to your home and your cell phone. In um, the IP world, the individual user, the customer of that service, is able to tailor and customize their use of that network to what is most important to them. So, for example, if what's very important for a business is to be able to access their email and all of their communications while on the road, an IP platform offers them the ability, literally anywhere in the world, to use their laptop to be as if they were sitting right at their desk. Choice also comes from being able to use different devices to send and receive voice communication. Your PDA, your laptop, your MP3 player will all be as usable as your phone is. So uh, the real opportunity that the OIP products provide, again, is customization, a tailoring for that individual business user. And if the user needs some features, for example, it only needs uh, the capabilities of a unified messaging feature, it can pay for it, that kind of service. In addition, however, if there are more capabilities, more platform um, services and products that one of the, the individual needs or feels is important for its product mix, there are additional grades of service and additional capabilities that uh, can be purchased. There are some disadvantages to internet voice services. Some won't work during power outages, so be sure to check with your potential provider to see if they offer backup power. Another question is whether the potential VOIP provider offers white page listings. And some VOIP services may not be able to connect with the 911 Emergency Dispatch Center. As Internet telephony grows and becomes a bigger provider of the nation's phone calls, concerns grow about regulations, the impact on public safety, 
as well as the considerable tax dollars lost. Regulation always comes with costs. Uh, small business owners, more than any, understand that with the panoply of regulations that they face. And so um, we have to recognize that there are costs associated with any effort to try to impose uh, government um, prescriptions. On the other hand, it's important to recognize that the SBC believes the government does have a role to ensure certain guarantees like emergency safety, uh, emergency preparedness, public safety. And so we look forward to working with the FCC and other governmental agencies to ensure that, in fact, um, 911 is um, a service that is available. FCC Chairman Michael Powell believes that for now, IP-based services such as VOIP should evolve in a regulation-free zone. Clearly, VOIP is changing the way the world is talking. I'm Janita Blackwood reporting for SBTV, your premier source for news and information about small business.